You remember that hat we talked about last time? It was the white hat. It is the hat of the facts. Now, after we thought about all of the facts, now we don't need them. We're going to change the way we're thinking. We're talking about feelings. How do I feel about the problem? What is my gut feeling? For example, last time we were talking about the trash or about the pollution. So how does the trash inside the area that I'm living in makes me feel? Maybe it makes me feel sad. Maybe, uh, you know, I, when I see it, it breaks my heart, you know. Uh, but I don't see, I don't say, well, we have a lot of quantities inside the building uh, that we're living in because that would be a fact. But what we have to keep thinking about is the feelings. If you refer back to our cooperative language learning course, you'll find that you will be asking your students to sit in teams. So if you are having a certain problem you're discussing together as a class, you can ask every team to use only one hat and think in this way. Or you can ask them to, uh, to have the sick thinking hats inside the team and they would just be, uh, you know, thinking in the way that is determined. So, for example, if now we're thinking about the feelings, you only think about the feelings. So, if we're talking about pollution, so what do we feel about pollution? Does it make you feel happy, sad, excited, angry? We're only talking about feelings without any necessary, uh, you know, justification for why we feel what we feel. I simply feel sad, or I simply love this, or I hate that, or I feel angry about this. And without having to say like any reason or any factor that supports how I feel. And you even think about it from your personal uh, point of view or from your personal life. Sometimes when you are faced with a problem, you might be feeling like you're angry and you are feeling very sad and somehow you need to justify this. All, although that all that you need to do is just to express how you feel without being judged or blamed for that or being asked for a reason. You know, like, for example, when you ask someone, why do you want to be an English teacher? And then they say that I love it. And then you ask them, why do you love it? Man, I just told you, I just love it. So it's the, this is how it works. You think in one hat, in these couple of minutes that we have decided, for example, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, you just think using one hat at a time. And as you noticed, we're talking about feelings and facts. They are the opposite has from each other. So if you are thinking in feelings, you might be followed by facts or facts and then feelings according to the situation that you have.